What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel and I was reading a new story about the situation that took place at the Pimlico Academy where students were protesting against the school in which they burned down the Union Jack flag. Now when I heard this I thought hmm I wonder what they're actually protesting for. Was it a serious crime that was committed against the students? Nope. They were protesting because the school didn't allow hair to be of a certain length. Now particularly in this case the article references Afro hair in order to allow other students as they write in the article to be able to see in the classroom. And also not allowing different colour hijabs to be worn. That was seen as being discriminatory. And apparently enough for the school students to all protest. Now, what do you think the head teacher and the school response to all of this was? Yep, you guessed it. As everything in life, they completely buckled. They buckled to the pressure from the students. And even more interestingly enough, which is what I really want to talk about, it was the pressure from the parents. And that got me the most, this is what made me the most mad. Because here we have a situation where the lunatics have taken over the asylum. It's official. When we analyze the state of the youth and we wonder why we see situations where they aren't respectful to authority, to elders, how they chat back to them, how they can't seem to respect them, always entitled, believing that they can get their own way just because it may hurt their ego or sense of sensibilities, then look at cases like this and you can fully understand as to why this is the case. Because when I was younger in that school, and that wasn't too long ago, guess what we had to do? We had to wear a uniform, as most kids in Britain do, in like just normal public schools. We couldn't have certain hairstyles or certain lengths in certain um, types of styles. It couldn't be stupid colours. We couldn't dye our hair. There were so many things that we couldn't do. We had a strict uniform. We had to have our tie in a certain way. That was enforced across the whole board, regardless of your ch child's racial background. And everybody knew what that meant. We weren't dumb. We knew exactly if you're black and had an afro hair, you had a certain length. If you're white and had long hair, you had a certain length. We're not stupid. But guess what that would do? It would enforce a situation which meant children would understand rules and regulations. Because that's one of the key bits of education that gets, un that gets missed and left out from today's conversation, which sets up kids, guess what? To be able to manage in the real world. Because the real world now, the real world has rules and regulations that you have to abide by. So some of these rules regarding hairstyles and, and not allowing certain lengths and all this kind of other stuff, it does seem stupid. Don't get me wrong. When I was young, I was like, why is that a rule? It seems so stupid and basic, I will admit. However, it's the principle. Rules are rules for a reason. And again, it's, this is the first bit of education that our children will actually have in a, in a situation which allows them to understand this is a rule that's set in place because it's for the best for you. This is what's uniform for everybody, for the whole school to follow, regardless of who you think you are. And if you broke them, no matter how big or small, you would all rightly get punished. Depending on what the cause would be or depending on what the um, rule that you broke would depend on the punishment, but you still get punished. Therefore, instilling that respect value. Now, did that mean that there were kids who still disobeyed even though they knew they were going to get punished? Absolutely. You will never have that changing, but that was not the point. We and I knew exactly what would happen. We knew who was in charge. And this was also backed up by the parents, which is what's the most killing part because the parents are the ones who was endorsing, who are justifying this BS behavior. Because fast forward to them, what do we see? We all see it. We all know what happens. Children are dictating to our, their parents everything and what to do as if they're the ones paying the bills. This is what I want to eat today. I don't eat that. This is what I want to do today. I want to do that. They're running the households if they're mummy and daddy. And somehow these parents are allowing these kids to do this kind of stuff. And what's happening today as a result? We wonder why these kids aren't growing up. When you tell a child something, they can't seem to understand. They don't want to do it. And they click up a fuss. They start screaming. They start shouting. They don't know actually how to conflict resolve. This is all because parents these days are not instilling discipline. And it's like, it's no wonder why teachers can't actually teach as well. Let's get on to teachers part because they're spending far too much time trying to do the simple basic things that every child before they even get to that school should understand to sit down, to shut up and listen. But they can't even do that because the teachers are far, spending far too much time trying to discipline the kids because you as parents have failed your children. Because you guys are like, they should have freedom of expression. It's what difference does it make? And oh, it's just, everyone's unique and individual. Should be expressive of individuality. BS. But this is what happens when you let all standards slip. So when I read this news article, it just confirmed everything that I thought about the modern day parents. And as a result, the modern day children about how the standard of discipline has completely gone, which we all know what happens, the inevitability it leads to emotionally unstable, vulnerable adults when they grow older. Because again, when they grow older, they can't understand instructions. They don't want to follow instructions because apparently now it's going to infringe upon their human rights for a stupid hairstyle. So 
This is what we are facing right now as a society. The whole wokeness, every single thing comes down to one thing. People right now, when it comes to discipline, when it comes to standards, people don't like to be told what to do. Particularly when it comes to situations where rules are in place for a reason. The lunatics have taken over the asylum. It's official. And here's the problem. Once that happens, you can't even get the discipline back. See, this is another thing that happens when, when parents allow their children to run amok over them. It is so much more difficult for that parent to get that respect back and for that child to actually respect their basically discipline once you've let them run over you. Because guess what? They aren't taking you seriously anymore. And this is the same situation that's going on right now. People are not taking them seriously anymore. So the school are in a situation where they're just completely buckled. Because if you give someone an inch, they will take a mile. Children are no different. And this is why, this is why these rules are in place. This is why it seems stupid. This is why even the most frivolous things you have to stand on. Because at the end of the day, this isn't racist. This isn't, this isn't discriminatory. This isn't anything to shout home about. In schools in the Caribbean, they don't even allow certain hairstyles. And who would know more in schools in like the Caribbean and Africa about how to have their hairstyles? Yet they know themselves. No, they're more disciplined themselves because they know exactly what needs to be done. But what do we do over here? Oh my gosh, it's just a hairstyle. This is freedom of expression. The lunatics have taken over the asylum. And we're, and we're partly responsible for this. So let me know your thoughts on this issue in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm out.